Holy Tuesday, Jesus teaches us the way. Most Holy Mary takes us to the fiat of sacrifice. Purpose of the day, may nothing weaken our faith. May what happens in our interior not weaken our faith, and may it not infect any other brother or sister. That is why, when we are ill, let us not look hastily into whom we can empty our anguish because perhaps we will weaken his or her faith. Let us look for one whom we know that, although we are suffering, we will not weaken that person. On the contrary, let us get closer to the one who is going to comfort with preaching. Consequently, faith results from listening, and listening results through the word of the Messiah. Romans chapter 10 verse 17 Prayer of the Morning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. You are to love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5 Come, Holy Trinity, to dwell in me. The Creed Salutation You are great, O Lord, Creator of heaven and earth. This morning I beg you humbly to send the anointing of your Holy Spirit that anointing of love, so that it penetrates all my being, and I may be the one who is meek and humble of heart, of whom the gospel speaks. You, who are the inexhaustible source of humility, give me to drink from your sight, to be a new creature. Beloved Son of the Father, Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, infinite sacrifice of the new covenant, arise triumphantly in your glorious cross. It is not a cross of pain, it is one of sacrifice. Yes, for the love of all, even if they do not know you. Give praise, you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed from now to eternity. From the rising of the sun to its setting, may the name of the Lord be praised. Psalm chapter 113, verse 1 to 4. Meditation Submerged in the heart of the mother, let us feel that she tells us, Take humanity, the one I have taken care of in my arms, the one whom my breasts have nursed. Take humanity, today I give you my heart, today I hand over my son to you, I give him to you for the sins committed. Today I give this innocent one, who on sleepless nights as a loving mother I cared for with great zeal, great apprehension, knowing already that I must give him from my arms to yours. Today I give him to you, humanity, for the lack of sincerity, for the vain glory and lack of human humility, for the lies, for the blasphemies and the lack of faith, for the unbridled and painful vices of the flesh and the addictions, for the killings of innocence, for the children aborted, for the death that occurs through the tongue, double-edged sword that man uses for evil. For the lack of fidelity among brothers and sisters, and to the word of God, for the breaking of the divine law, the commandments and sacraments, for those who, having consecrated themselves to the service of my Son, give free rein to their desires and waver, abandoning their consecration for all vocations, priestly and religious, for all that and more. For the wars, for those who will surrender to false gods, for those antichrists who throughout history, using their power, will kill the innocent. For that and more, I give you today, humanity, my beloved, into your arms. I know that you will prey on him, you will fill him with reproach, you will mock him, and you will unleash fury against the humble lamb. And I, as loving mother, I give him as expiation for all the sins of humanity throughout all time, for redemption of the human race. I give him today, together with the angels who mourn, in union with all those souls who joined and will join his passion, humbly offering their lives for my son and for the sins of all men. From the cradle to the cross, this sorrowful mother must now sacrifice him, sacrifice him with equal love, for the love of each one 
who today shares this meditation. Reflection. Do not be like the one who, after saying yes, did not grow and did not bear fruit. Give back to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. Mark chapter 12, verse 17. And as children of God, the commitment is greater. Keep watch with the heart, with faith, with charity, with hope, with works. Prepare the lamps, take care that they do not go out, feeding them with the inner oil of right conscience. Remain united to God through love, so that he introduces you into the banquet room where your lamp will never be extinguished. You must not forget that before everyone there is good and evil. It is the duty of all to choose good and to flee from evil. God scrutinizes the depths of the soul, and before you initiate any action or act, he knows your intention. That is the reason why not everyone who keeps saying to me, Lord, Lord, will get into the kingdom of heaven, but only the person who keeps doing the will of my Father in heaven. Matthew chapter 7 verse 21 We should never show off our own strength, for alone it betrays men. Whoever says, I will not fall, that one can fall. And when someone says, I am humble, that is when he or she ceases to be so, for man on his own is nothing and can do nothing. Call to Consciousness Our beloved Jesus calls us to stop complaining about adversities and instead give glory to the Father for them. He gives us his example. I am going to finish the work that you entrusted to me. That is the call for all of us. Our life has a purpose. It is to glorify the Father in every moment and place. We have to live in His image and likeness. He asks us to love those who betray us, and it is a difficult task for men to turn the other cheek, to give good when wrong is done to us. Be patient. It is difficult. All of the above is complicated when one wants to achieve it alone. But when the creature abandons itself in the divine hands, the burden seems light, the impossible becomes possible, because man is not alone anymore. The Lord carried a cross, but a cross that had in it all the sins of humanity, your sins, mine, ours, so much that the weight wounded his shoulder until his bone was exposed, and he offered it with love. He remained with the one who would betray him and hid him from the others, and we do not even manage to dominate the impulsive character of our humanity. We want to direct our brothers and sisters to have authority, because we do not like or know what it is to be under authority. For this and more today, Lord, take authority over my life, so that I may live intensely with you every moment in which for love of me you suffered. You humbled yourself and they slandered you, so that everything that happens around me does not make me retreat or fall into discouragement. For my eye dominates me, makes me fall and feel sorry for myself without looking at your sacrifice, your sufferings coloured by love. Today you speak to me as to your disciples. You tell me about the betrayals, the good intentions that have not been fulfilled, of the commitments and the oaths made before you that I have abandoned, the good intentions that have been forgotten, the deceptions committed voluntarily, of the lack of charity not only for my brothers and sisters, but for those who gave me life. You speak to me in my ear and you say, Meditate. This day especially, remember, from your childhood, the improper games, impure desires, contempt towards others, greed, vanity, vainglory, imposition, impurity. Today remember, I whisper in your ear, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Bible Reading Therefore, my brothers, since we have confidence to enter the sanctuary by the blood of Jesus, the new and living way that he opened for us through the curtain, that is, through his flesh, and since we have a great high priest over the household of God, let us continue to come near with sincere hearts in the full assurance that faith provides, because our hearts have been sprinkled clean from a guilty conscience, and our bodies have been washed with pure water. Let us continue to hold firmly to the hope that we confess without wavering, for the one who made the promise is faithful. And let us continue to consider how to motivate one another to love and good deeds, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another even more as you see the day of the Lord coming near. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 19 to 25 We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Prayer of the Night Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Under the loving gaze of the Immaculate Virgin, we rest in the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it's now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Act of Contrition O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended you, and I detest all my sins, because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell, but most of all because they offend you, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of your grace, to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Salutation On this night I would like, my God, to accompany you. Your love is tested to the fullest, knowing how to keep in your heart what you well know. You do not betray the one who is going to hand you over, because your love surpasses everything. Son of the Father, you take me with you to live permanently in the paradise of your will. Praise be to you, my King and my God. Praise be to you. Your love for us is great. May all peoples sing your mercy and worship your name forever. May you be worshipped here on earth as you are in heaven. From the soul to its Lord In each word of the Holy Gospel, the Lord calls us to meditate. And he tells us, you walk, looking for answers to everything, and that is the cause of the constant falls. Instead of answers, trust in me. For man desires immediate answers, demands, ignoring that the answers are in the silence. Why did I go to the desert? To pray and be alone with my Father, and listen to him deep within. Man desires answers, and continues to live amid the bustle. He does not pray, he does not supplicate, he only demands, he only looks for me in moments of desperation, and when he wants to find immediate solutions, he begins to listen to other very human voices that lead him to fall more and more. Man has forgotten that he must seek his God every moment, every day, to remain united. You have forgotten that doing evil damages one's personal anointing. Criticism, gossip, damages the anointing that my Holy Spirit gives to the creature. The Lord speaks to us in His Word. The Scripture was not reviewed for the past. It continues alive and pulsating. Each line is food for our journey. The Lord tells us, Children, Satan continually attacks my children, puts trials traps. It is for this reason that you have to go to prayer and nourish yourselves with my body and blood daily. That is why I have left my mother to guide and protect you. It is for this reason that I have given you my example. Silence is not of cowards. It is of heroes who know that language is a gift and as such they have to use it to worship, not to sin. They must give life with it, not kill. Meditation Reading 
we, children of God, must be rich in the Spirit. All we have is because God does it so that we give Him glory and honour. He is kind, so much that He asks us, Will you lend me your body, your mind, your heart, your will? God does. He comes and asks us for permission. And with our free will we say yes or no. What we are, what we can do, we decide. And to decide correctly, we have to be creatures of prayer. Not impulsive creatures like Judas, but creatures of prayer of reflection. We have to ask God's favour daily and humbly ask for the bread of wisdom, the bread of love, the daily bread, but not only the material bread as the common person believes, also the spiritual bread, so that God's plan for which he has created us may be a permanent reality in us. The failure of man is born because we do not understand that everything that exists belongs to God, and we want to appropriate everything, forgetting the divine hands that have created everything that exists, existed, and will exist. We are containers of God's love. That is why he tells us, think of us as servants of the Messiah, and as servant managers entrusted with God's secrets. 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1 to 5 and he would ask in the morning for the bread of the morning, in the evening the bread of the evening, in the night bread for the night. Every day we have to go out to look for the divine bread of protection, of coverage, of healing, of fidelity, the bread of enlightenment of the Holy Spirit to keep us in grace, in the middle of the convulsive and seductive world. To you who read these pages, I tell you, the Lord has created you with a divine purpose. That is why He has called you not to live a mediocre life, but to live a full relationship with Him, so that you can enjoy here on earth the full love of God at all times, even in those of tribulation. Judas wanted to award himself rights because he was called to walk beside the Lord. He forgot that God is the one who rules and directs. That is why today I am calling you not to forget that whatever you possess, you possess it because God has so arranged it, and you are only an administrator of the divine assets. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world.